Okay, T for two. I'm going to do it in the key of C. It has a really nice verse, but I'm just going to do the basic melody first. And I'm happy to change the key for you in the future. Um, it uses two keys and a really pretty bridge. I sometimes use the bridge as an intro. Sometimes you can use the verse as an intro. Sometimes you can use the verse as an interlude. All that's later. Here we go. Let's do it this way for starters. Uh, essentially, picture you upon my knee. T for two, two for T, me for you, and you for me alone. Something like that, right? So that's D minor, D minor seven, you might say, to G seven, D minor seven, G seven. And then on the C's, it's a C major seven, you're hearing this. We can, we're gonna trick it out a little bit later, but first, that's what we start with. Now you can just, do that or you can I like the diminished although I'm not positive that diminished is in there here we go because it leads nicely to the next D okay then you go to the next key and you can play it right down here you go to the major third of a C or whatever key you're in, go to its major third, and that's the key that of the, the next key it modulates to. But you always start on the two, so whatever that note is, you'd be a whole step up. That's a lot of information, let me tell you what I mean. Here's a C major. If we're in the key of C, find the third. There's the third. This is the root of the new key of the B part, the next, the next verse, okay? Not the B part so much, it's just another A. The, other, the second A is in a different key. Unusual, but cool. So, in this case, it would be an E, and the one up, uh, E would be one major, so two minor is E, F sharp minor. So, there's F sharp minor. That's how I thought about it, okay? And it's two five, two five, just like the other one was. So, F sharp minor, B7, F sharp minor, B7, E major. And you could. That kind of thing that we've done those before where you put E, B with that F sharp in the bass. Diminished is nice, G diminished, E with the third in the bass. Now you can skip all that and do mirror the same thing that you did in the key of C. So in the key of C, you were doing this. Sorry, that's later. First. Right? So you can do that up here. So that's just doing the same thing in the key of E. So there's F sharp minor seven, B seven, then the E major seven, E major six, diminished, right? Is not necessary, you don't have to have diminished, but it's just why not? Now to go back, so this is the, the third, <laughs> well, the next set of eight measures, it, it starts back to here. G minor 6, A7. It's heading for that release, that bridge, I guess you could call it. I like to grab it up here. It looks like a C9. I have the E in the bass, but G, G minor 6, A7. It's kind of romantic up here. new part of the song it's kind of a bridge uh, you can do this for absolute basic is D minor A7 D minor A7 A7 D minor A7 flat that'll get the job done but if you want it to sound a little closer to the melody D minor uh, 
I like diminished. It looks like an A flat nine, but there's your diminished. I guess you would call it an E diminished, right? Then back to D minor. And then a D flat diminished. It's actually probably a C sharp diminished, but this is where you're putting your... The, the key. Now slide up to the diminished you just played. And D minor. Back to the diminished, this one. And then B flat seven. You could come down here, or you could come over here. Whatever's comfortable. I'm going to put that into context. You'll notice it kind of goes... D diminished, D diminished, diminished, D diminished. Uh, then the B flat seven. Let's try that. Make sure I'm right. D minor, E diminished, D minor, D flat. Push it up and turn it around. Okay, B flat seven. Your last eight measures. Um, let me play the whole thing for you to show you all of that together. So you can, of course, use this D minor. Like that. And you'll hear that I'm getting that extra melody note in there. All right, this one. So you can. When I first used to do that years ago, it was pretty sloppy, but I, would, I worked on it and I got it smoother. But you can do it here easier. If you're using that kind of... Right? D minor, G7, D minor, G7, C major 7, C major 6, C major 7, the C sharp diminished. Remember, you can fold that first finger over and do these little... Not all of them are going to sound good. Two of them will always sound good. The other two sound good, but there's a... You'll see what I mean. Watch this. To themselves, they sound okay, but some of these are a little extreme to the melody. Some of them fit perfectly. Um, just mess around with it. And then, as far as this G minor, think of other ways to play G minor six. Right, there's the G minor this way, to A seven, or G minor, G minor with the third in the bass, A seven. Don't forget, you have that nice augmented by just pushing this note up here by tapping it. Intro, you know. Oh, 
Oh, you can also use the open B string. Watch this. Mm, no, you can't. Sorry, you can. Oh, you can in this in the when you're here though. That's pushing it. It's not really appropriate. Just mess around. Um, good luck with that. I'm happy to uh, show you the the verse is really cool. around. Okay, talk to you soon.